Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely T T V show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely T T V show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. Happy Friday. I hope everybody is doing good today. So I want to come on here and do some commentary on this viral video that is going viral all over social media. Um, it went viral about a day or two ago, but I've been meaning to come on and talk about it. So basically, if you guys don't know, we also posted this on social media. There's a group of just adorable little black girls, and um, they are basically rapping and dancing and repeating this song, the lyrics mainly by Sexy Red. It's called Rich Baby Daddy. It's from Drake's album, For All the Dogs, and it's a song with Sexy Red, SZA, and Drake. And so these little girls are literally turning up to this song. They're basically saying, bend that shit over. Let that coochie breathe. Shake that ass, bitch. Hands on your knees. Hands on your knees. These are the lyrics to the song that these little girls are rapping and performing and dancing to. Y'all go ahead and check this out. All right, so you guys just saw that video and you know, it's really disturbing because one these are babies I see a lot of people attacking them and saying, you know, typical fast black girls This is why I would never have a child with a black woman, you know, black girls are trash. They're hypersexual You know, the comments have definitely been interesting, but last time I checked these were babies. Okay, they didn't find this song on their own There's a parent involved um, There are mothers involved and there's an adult watching all of this take place and recording these children and putting them on the internet now again sexy red is not the first to do it okay we had raunchy music back in my day too believe it or not we had the trinas we had the little kins we had the foxy browns but parents back then had a bit more decorum where when those songs came on one they didn't come on on the radio you had to kind of hunt for those songs but you knew damn well you could not be in front of your parents um talking about i make a pop can disappear in my mouth like you know what i'm saying there, there was just there, there was no mistaking that that you could not get down like that in front of your parents for the most part if you had responsible parents now i see a lot of people blaming sexy red and i'm not the biggest sexy red fan but to me, Sexy Red really don't bother nobody. She's a girl from the Midwest who lucked up. Y'all made her famous. Remember two weeks ago, people got upset because Rolling Stone named Sexy Red as one of the best rappers for her song, Ski Yee. And people were really upset and they're like, how could this be? But to keep it real, every time I turned around on BT or at the club, The song came on, people knew the words, people were dancing, having a good old funky time. You know, a lot of people say a lot of shit about Sexy Red, but they're closeted Sexy Red listeners. They are definitely turning up to Sexy Red. They're definitely, you know, having a good time. Again, if this comes on in the club, I'm gonna dance. I'm gonna be like ski. -y. Do I have any of her music downloaded on my iTunes? Honestly, no. But if it comes on, I'm gonna definitely dance to it. But what I don't like is the fact that only Sexy Red is being attacked. One, the blame goes on the parents because at the end of the day, Sexy Red is not the one and should not be the one raising your children. It should be you. You should be there monitoring what your daughters watch, what your daughters consume, and what your daughters basically perpetuate to the rest of the world. So I can't blame Sexy Red for this. And also what I don't like is this. I don't get how Drake always gets to skate away unscathed. Last time I checked, this was not even a Sexy Red song. She's a featured artist on the song. This is a song on Drake's album. How come Drake never gets any backlash? Drake perpetuates a lot of bullshit. Drake is the one who basically co-signed her. Everybody thinks she's a horrible rapper. She shouldn't be where she's at. But yet and still, clout chasing Drake get, basically gave her a, a, a stimulus package, gave her a co-sign. When he really could have used that co-sign towards, you know, quote unquote, a more talented artist, he ran after clout. He ran after somebody viral. But nobody holds Drake accountable for the co-sign that he gave Sexy Red. We was backstage at his room. We was just chilling. And he with me. Everybody that was coming in the room, he was being nice, introducing me. He like, she's awesome. She's great. This Sexy Red. It was fun. Drake fun. Yeah, he turned. He lit. 
nobody's holding Drake accountable for putting this on his album, you know, and basically perpetuating this to a nationwide global audience. So he has a huge community of people, black, white, you know, many people from different backgrounds that he exposed Sexy Red to. Sexy Red would not have been as exposed if it wasn't for the Drake stimulus package. So I just hate that, you know, so many times, you know, black women and black female artists get attacked. Even people are attacking SZA because she's the one singing the hook on the song. But I saw very, very little attacks on Drake. You know, like I said, he perpetuates all types of bullshit. You know, uh, he's no longer the sweet little goody goody boy that he was when he first came out. You know, and he never gets held accountable for the stuff that he perpetuates. And I hate that. If we're going to condemn Sexy Red for the lyrics in the song, then Drake should get just as much condemnation because he's the one who put her on the song and it's on his album. Okay? What's good for the goose is good for the gander. Y'all know how I get down. So again, I don't like this. I don't think little girls should be dancing to this and performing the song. These girls are obviously talented, they're adorable, but I would prefer that they'd be all dancing and singing to Baby Shark as opposed to telling each other to let their little kitty cats breathe, okay? Just totally unacceptable and shame on whoever posted this on the internet because once again, you're helping to perpetuate a stereotype that all little black girls are hypersexual. You know, they have no home training, no manners, when that is not the case. I know a lot of little black girls, you know, who are sweet, who don't listen to Sexy Red, who stay in their places, children. So I just hate when things like this go viral, but I definitely want to give my take on it. I get tired of whenever these conversations come up, all of a sudden it's all black women and all black women are just the worst, you know, mothers, we're just the worst people on earth. But meanwhile, biracial Drake gets to skate away scot-free. I'm not having that in 2024. If we're going to start holding artists accountable, let's hold all artists accountable. Let's not pick and choose. Don't just pick on the sexy reds. Pick on everybody on that album. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation. Um, do you guys blame these children? Do you feel like it's on the parents? And then how do you feel about Sexy Red getting a majority of the backlash, but absolutely no backlash going to Drake when this is on Drake's album? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. I look forward to reading y'all's comments. Make sure you guys like the video. Feel free to share the video. And most importantly, make sure you still subscribe to the channel. Ski! Talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely tea TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely tea TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.